multi-robot coordination and cooperation with task precedence relationships from the GRASP lab at the University of Pennsylvania. Missions for multi-robot teams often involve coordinating homogeneous agents to work on many complex tasks over an extended duration. In applications such as agriculture, disaster relief, or autonomous construction, tasks can often be interrelated and might require multiple agents to cooperate in order to perform the task successfully. One motivating scenario for our work is an autonomous agriculture mission. In this scenario, the goal is to harvest crops and apply pesticides to a field. The multi-agent team must work together to identify pest locations, transport pesticides to these locations, and apply the pesticides. Before pesticide application, the team must harvest the crops. The crops can then be transported concurrently with pesticide application. In such a scenario, time and team size constraints mean that resources are limited. In order to complete the mission effectively, each robot must be assigned to multiple overlapping coalitions on subsequent tasks, a difficult combinatorial problem. Furthermore, the planner must be able to reason about two key components. Precedence relationships between tasks, such as pest identification, before pesticide transport, before pesticide application, and the impact of the size of the coalition working on a task on that task's success. In this work, we introduce a graph-based modeling framework that unifies these components into an overarching mission model. We also introduce solution methods that leverage these models for improved performance on large problems. We introduce a new model for the multi-robot task allocation problem, which considers robots cooperating on multi-robot tasks that are related with precedence relationships. Our model is defined over a task graph. Each task is a node, and each directed edge represents a precedence relationship between two tasks. We use a coalition function to model the impact of assigned team size on task performance. In our agriculture example, a sublinear coalition function represents an exploration task to identify pests, whereas a step-like coalition function represents a collaborative carry task like pesticide transport. We introduce the novel influence function that relates prior task performance to future task performance on each directed edge, such as the linear relationship between crop harvesting and transportation. Typically, task relationships are modeled with binary representations. Either there is a precedence constraint or there is not. Our influence function, on the other hand, expands this binary to represent a rich spectrum of intertask relationships. This example illustrates a linear relationship, but we might have a step-like relationship between something like unblocking a path and navigating that path. Solution methods. One approach to solving the task allocation problem uses mixed integer nonlinear programming. The mixed integer solution method constructs ordered schedules for each individual robot. Robots need not follow graph edges. For example, robots on the bottom branch can join the coalition for the top task before moving on to subsequent tasks. We also introduce a flow-based nonlinear programming solution method that represents task allocation as agents flowing through tasks on the task graph. We use a coalition fraction to represent the portion of the total robot team that is allocated to flow along each edge. Robot flows must obey flow constraints, and so cannot switch branches midway. The coalition function representation means that the flow-based problem formulation is agnostic to the number of agents in the team. It works on five agents just the same as on 500. This permits powerful scaling to large teams. Our results show that flow-based solutions more efficiently solve larger problems than more traditional approaches. In this experiment, we look at the impact of the number of tasks in the problem on the relative performance of our solution methods. Across many random trials, we present the average reward for the flow-based method, normalized by the reward from the mixed integer approach. On small problems of fewer than 12 tasks, our flow-based approaches perform within a 20% margin of the mixed integer approach, which is near optimal. On larger problems, the flow-based methods vastly outperform the mixed integer approach. Furthermore, the mixed integer approach takes minutes to find a solution, while the NLP flow-based solver runs in fractions of a second. 
The flow-based approaches were able to effectively solve much larger problems than even these, up to 50 tasks, while the mixed integer approach failed to compute non-trivial solutions. Finally, we examine the impact of the number of agents in the problem on solution performance. For the flow-based approaches, increasing the number of agents does not increase the problem complexity. The mixed integer approach, however, performs poorly as the number of agents is increased. These results, taken together, show that the flow-based approaches are superior in problem domains with large numbers of tasks or large numbers of agents. Our modeling and solution approaches result in task plans that leverage task precedence relationships and robot coordination and cooperation to achieve high mission performance. Please see our paper for more details.